In this tutorial, I just want to give a, a brief introduction into your file block settings in Excel so that way you can have a little more flexibility over your privacy and security of your Microsoft Excel workbooks. So basically what file block does is, it, is you can click these boxes and it says, hey, if this Excel file is open, it's either make it to where it won't open at all, or hey, if you open this kind of um, workbook or worksheet um, or file type, make sure that it opens in protected view. Or you can also make it to where Excel won't let you save it, um, which can give you flexibility over your security. So to get to these settings, go to File, all the way near the bottom. At the bottom, go to Options. And then you're going to want to go to Not General, Not From This, all the way down, then to Trust Center. Click Trust, Trust Center, and then you can click Trust Center Settings. Okay, so now we're in Trust Center Settings, and this is where you can control uh, more or less everything that is related to the security of your um, workbooks. I'm going to go right down to the third one from the bottom, file block settings. And then here you can see it says for each file type you can select and you can select open and save check boxes by selecting by selecting open Excel block as file type or opens in protected view place by selecting save Excel prevents saving in this file type. So for example you can say hey I don't want to save um, Excel 7 later. I don't want to be able to save 97 2003. I don't want to be able to save XML sheets. Um, and you can pretty much just click what you want. You, I don't want to save offline cubes. Um, I don't want to be able to open an offline cubes, but you can still save them. I'm not familiar with all these file types, quite honestly. I'm not sure what a differ SYKO file is, but they, you, get, you get the point. This is where you can um, adjust these kind of settings. And there's open behavior for a second file. So, you know, so whenever you click the open box, right now I have it selected to where, hey, you know, if an Excel Word 4 workbook opens, for example, it, it will open the selected file in protected view, right? And then, I, and then I'll get a little box at the top where I have to then collect allow edit. Um, or you can say, do not open selected file types. So you can um, have the open box and say, hey, I don't want to be able to open these file types at all. Or you can say, hey, open a protected view, but I can still edit it. Um, and so with, with this, this middle one, I have to ma manually allow it for edit. With the bottom one, it will just automatically let me edit it. I'm gonna, I am gonna. don't want to adjust the settings on mine, so I'm just going to click X. But yeah, that's just kind of how you can get to those settings and make those adjustments. So I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.